Before seeing very interesting table about the time that we are entering now, which in Hebrew is called Ben HaMesarim, and this is what you have in Pekedia, so we could explain to you exactly what it is, there are a lot about it when you put the three weeks in, in Wikipedia, but what we are going to see now is the first part of it. So it says the three weeks, or Ben HaMesarim, Hebrew Ben HaMesarim, between the straits. What this is like means this is a time between the fasting of 17th of Tammuz, when the walls of Jerusalem were broken, and then after 21 days, we have, after three weeks, we have Tisha B'Av, also very severe day, passing day. Now these three weeks are known to be very, very dangerous time for Jews. It means a lot of troubles, and the reason the Jews have to be careful. And this is what the verse in Eicha says, that all her enemies caught her, the Jews, between the straits. So very, very dangerous time for Jews. And this is a period of mourning commemorating the destruction of the first and second Jewish temples. The three weeks start on the 17th of the day of the Jewish month of Tammuz and finish in 9th of Ab. Now this is what it is unfortunately now. A lot of troubles happen to Jews during this time. As I mentioned, there is a, I think a French historian who worked out that more than half the troubles, you know, destruction, expulsion of Spain and York in England and Many others, the first world broke out on Mishnah of Av, the final solution of Hitler in much more. Also, many, many troubles. Situation of Spain and Yorkshire in England, we said, many, many troubles he worked out. He really showing, you know, because God said to Jews, you cried for nothing on the 9th of Av, you know, the story with the spies, and you lost your faith in God. So all over history you will cry on this day to strengthen your faith because your faith is clearly showing there is a God, you know, that so many troubles happen, and even the expulsion of Gush Katif in Israel, the Katif block, yeah, also was on Tisha B'Av. So, very, very sad time for Jews now, entering now the three weeks after Sabbath, Sunday already. And then we hope that the prophecies of Zechariah, of Zechariah, the prophecy, chapter 8, 9, will come out, which is, Thus says the Lord of hosts, the first of the fourth month, which is Tammuz after Nisan, yeah, Sivan and Tammuz, the first of the fifth month, the first of the seven months, all these fast. And the fast of the tenth month commemorating, respectively, the events shall become occasion for joy and gladness, happy festivals for the house of Judah. But you must love honesty and integrity. Very interesting. Hoping that will be. Right? So this is the table that I got to show you fit with the prophecy. <laughs> and hoping that it will come this year, so particularly a very significant year. So what you have here, so in Hebrew, as you saw, is called Ben HaMetzarim. Yeah, Ben HaMetzarim, we see just now, Ben HaMetzarim, and it could not come in one sentence because a lot of letters. So you have your bane between Amesarim, uh, between the straits coming here. And in the book of Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy is a book against this millennia. This is what Vilna Gaon says. So events which happened this millennia are here. So amazingly, you have here what, is, what we read in the Kedia 
the following. That this is a day of unfortunately, as we said, troubles, but hoping that this year, as we said, this is a bad tough shin pay bet in seven hundred and eighty two when we are now the sabbatical year where it's known that in the seventh year, sabbatical, the, the end of it, Messiah will come. But it depends on repentance, faith of God. So it is interesting, looking into this table, you have between the states and mid tafshin paper from seven, five, seven hundred and eighty-two, which is 2022, Hoping that we'll have the son of Jesse, Ben Ishai, son of Jesse, who will come with Elijah. But there is a condition. Shmor et kol mitzvot, I keep all my commandments, kol ayamim, all the days, lemani tablach, if you want it to be good to you. And again, comes here, this is a faith, a muna, for the Ariba Sela, the merit of faith. Jews came out of Egypt in the merit of faith. They will come from where they are now, exile of Edom, of Ishmael, of the Arabs, and the mixed market, you are Abraham. But again, condition, Shmor mitzvotav, keep all his commandments and mishpatav, judgment, v'chukotav, and his laws, his statutes, Hashem nochim zavchayom, they command you today. Yeah, not uh, in the time of exile, now, today. Right? And if you will do it, so we have your son of Jesse, Ben Ishai will come with Elijah together, with Eliyahu, because it's of our promise, yeah. Then what more we have here is the month, Tammuz, definitely. In fact, it's written that the Gimati of Tammuz is King Messiah, Melech HaMashiach. Then what we need beside faith in God, keeping the mitzvot, praying, tefillah, praying, very important. So all together, as I said, it's unbelievable to see that this year sabbatical, 5, 7, 8, 22, is really a year which can be a time of son of Jesse, of Messiah. But, as we said, keeping the mitzvot, as Maimonides says, that Israel will be redeemed only conditions that we repent, will keep the Torah and mitzvot, Shabbat and everything. And praying face, very interesting parallel face with Elijah. Parallel is also significant. So let us hope that this will be right, a difficult time. We have really government which is against the Torah, against the Sabbath. So we see troubles, unfortunately, threat of Iran, peace with what our rabbis tell us. If Jews will not repent willingly, so he will appoint upon them very cruel leader, Lahaman. In Persia, and today Amanahi, in Iran, the same place, the same kind of threats to destroy, to wipe out Israel. And Ototo, the bomb is coming, and the hundreds of thousands of missiles and rockets around Israel. Not at all a simple situation, but hoping, like in the time of Purim, the Jews listen to Esther and Mordechai who threaten them if they don't keep the Torah, keep things, or uh, this uh, extermination. This is what Amman wanted to do, the Hitler at that time. Jews listened to Mordechai and Esther, they believed to them, did not mock them, and disgust them, like today, unfortunately. And they were saved, hoping that this will not happen now, because the situation now becomes very, very dangerous, because it is a matter of weeks, they say that, Iran will have the atom, and we have to remember that they say clearly the purpose of what they are doing is to exterminate, to wipe out Israel, because they serve their mad, their Messiah, so frightening, no, not simple at all situation. So, very interesting and significant table, as I said, 
If you want to know more about this verse while reading the Wikipedia, it tells you exactly what is this Ben Amitsarim between the straits. And this is a verse in Eicha, Lamentation, which said, Kol Oivea is Sigua, all her enemies reach her Ben Amitsarim between the straits. Because as he said, these three weeks in history were full of disaster to Jews, pogroms, expansion. And this was supposed to strengthen Jews' faith in God, which they lost in the time of the spies, when God told them, go to the land, is a good land, don't worry, and they worried. And lack of faith, even it brought to this traction. But now what we have to do is to strengthen our emunah, our faith. And if we strengthen our faith, keep the Torah mitzvot, and praying to God, then we'll have Benisha, son of Jesse, coming with Elijah together. So interesting and very significant that table for those days that are coming, from Sunday. Sunday is already the fasting of the 17th of Tammuz. So let us hope that these fast days will turn to be happy days, full of gladness and joy. And definitely we not have 